Hi, my name is Jordan. And I'm Isabel. And we are peer health educators with the Center for Student Wellness and Health Promotion. Today we're going to be teaching you how to recognize the signs of alcohol poisoning and what to do if someone is experiencing alcohol poisoning. So when looking for the signs of alcohol poisoning, it'll be helpful to remember your ABCs. So A stands for awake or alert, so is the person aware of their surroundings and are they awake? B stands for beating or breathing, so is the person's heart beating and are they breathing? And C stands for cold, clammy, or circulation. So if the person's skin is cold or clammy, this could be a sign that blood is not circulating properly. So if any of these symptoms are present, please call 911 immediately as this can be a sign of alcohol poisoning. And when you're delegating tasks to people, make sure you're directing specific people to do things. So you might say, you in the red shirt, please call 911. And some students may be hesitant to call 911 because they might get in trouble. However, California's 911 Good Samaritan Law provides limited protection from charge, arrest, and prosecution for people who seek emergency medical assistance at the scene of a suspected drug or alcohol overdose. And while waiting for 911 to call, we use the Bacchus Maneuver, which we'll show you right now. So we use the Bacchus Maneuver to ensure that a person does not choke on their own vomit. First, raise the person's arms closest to you above their head. Gently raise their knee up and walk to the other side and roll them towards you using their shoulder. As you roll them, be sure to guard their head. Tuck their nearest hand under the cheek and drop the top knee forward to stabilize. Gently tilt their head up so that they don't choke on their vomit. And stay with the person and monitor closely. And as you're doing all of this, be sure to communicate with the person as you move them and let them know what you are doing at all times in case they can still hear you. 